What's crazy about that is, I think the best line of the show was when, was when her little, the white cop was like, yeah, you sleeping with the dead guy, and you sleeping with the nigga that killed Hey! Me. I was dead! Okay! What's going on, you guys? Welcome back to Couch Potato, where we love TV more than ghosts and daughters get screen time. I'm the Couch Potato, and today I have with me... Super Potato. And I got a name, Potato Head. That's how I talk about me. Yeah. My head is square, but still I'll take it. Yeah. Today, what we're going to have going on, you guys, we thought about doing this. We're going to give you weekly power recaps. So we're going to tune in with you guys weekly and talk a little bit about power and, you know, give a little bit of a what we think about it. And we also want to know what you think about it. So if you like these videos, go ahead and subscribe. And also leave a comment and let us know if you like these and we'll be making more of these every week. So uh, we're going to start off with the head hunch and we're going to start off about ghosts. What did y'all think about Ghost so far? Well, I will say before, uh -huh. before we talk about Ghost, mm -hmm. we threw a shot at Ghost as children. And, hey, in the, and we, we, can we say in the first episode, we've seen that little girl more than we've seen her in three Exactly! Before. I was like, I was up again. But the, and the issue is, they have a baby daughter that we still ain't seen. She's important. Since like season I, like, But she's like, like two. But like, you remember when they switched the game from CW to BT? Oh, yeah. Oh, and and she's gonna be six. And a little bit, whatever her name we went from like 5 to 15. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Brittany went from like 5 to 15. Yeah, so that's yeah man. Either that or they just gonna do it like Judy from Family Matters. Never gonna see who went up who went upstairs the window and never, never came back down. So they went to Tasha put it in the crib and we just never seen her. All right. Y'all. Okay you guys, so we're gonna start off on Ghost. And I mean pretty much we get to see Ghost getting thrown in the jail and see him going through this process. It was like depressing if you like that character. It's very hard to see because it's you know, just another black man being stripped of his dignity. You know? Hey, but I did like seeing my boy Charlie Murphy though. All right. like, like, see what's crazy about that? We look at ghosts as like getting stripped of his dignity. Like he, like he don't kill people for, for I mean, for that's a living. True. That's In the beginning of the episode, you see him all the flashbacks of like the people telling him, telling him stop, 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 don't stop. do it, stop, yeah. don't do it. Yeah. She's a cop. Oh and the God. fact that oh they God. did it, that was like production rubbing it in. The, he got bail, quick as hell. Like, I ain't never seen a nigga oh, get yeah. a bail here in like the same in 24 hours. Man, they were so quick to throw that man in the slam and just want to keep him locked up. Like, they. Now, it, every, everything happened so fast. Speaking bad. of it the bail like, here, it, it felt like it happened in like a week. Shout out to Hans from Fast and Furious getting a roll on power. Right, I thought I thought I. Did you feel familiar? Yeah. That's him. So, Tasha, she finds out that Tyreek with his dumb ass. Let's just get this straight. Tyreek is just like he Tariq is a dumbass. Tyreek is a, a, a spoiled brat. Yeah, he's um, the dumbest rich kid. I said this on on, 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 the, on the podcast. I was like, it's cool him and Dre. Like that's a big brother type. Right, right. right. Dre's in his twenties. Cool. Right. But to start hanging out with like a thirty-ish, forty maybe yeah. year old, yeah. like it's cool. Right. That is, and you ain't struggling at home. Right. Something's a problem. Right. Daddy issues much, but no, your total, daddy at least there. Total, total thank just, you. Yeah. But it's total daddy issues. But besides that, um, in like the last scene, I know we're supposed to be talking about Tasha, but in the last scene where Fifty had texted him, mm -hmm. even though Dre said leave him alone, he said cool, yeah, I'm gonna leave him alone. He yeah. texted him. And then Tariq was asking like when we can hang out. To me, I felt like that was pretty sus and I told him that. I mean, granted, yeah, he's struggling to look for a father figure, but it's weird to me that you like hard up looking to hang out with this grown ass I, man and get, it, it really like, and get high and drunk and blah, blah, blah. He introducing you to drugs and stuff like that. So he giving you a little party lifestyle, essentially. No women, no females, no nothing, and that's not weird to you. What's as dumb as Tyreek is, I think we have a new dumbest character on the show. Who? And his name is Dre. Oh man. Dre, as I watched the episode, I mean I've said I've been saying this since last season because I thought he wasn't gonna make it past the last one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I just said as I watched this first episode, I'm like Dre's gonna get the shot. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's oh, gonna be Dre definitely dying this season. Himself in deep with all, right. all types of people. Right. It's like, he's gonna have so many enemies stacked up against him right. by the mid, mid season. I ain't gonna talk about the end of the season. Because, by mid season. Because, for one, he's dumb. He's dumb. Yeah. Like, 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 ye
Shout out to Jukebox Flash, she's still on the show. Yeah. Right. And, and some other, and other random guys. Uh, and you, like you double cross on both sides. Like whenever you decide to go against them and they figure it out, Want to kill you, right? right. And Tommy, Tommy, either one. You saw it in Tommy's eye when he, right. when he said that. Oh, oh, oh Tommy, Tommy, Tommy don't believe him for shit. I thought he was gonna have it. I thought when they when he talked to Ghost at the end of the episode, mm-hmm. I mean, we talked to Kanan, and when it was raining, I thought he was gonna be like a spy tracing them all. Yeah, because yeah. Tommy don't trust him, right? Honestly, in that scene with him and Kanan, I just knew he was about to die. Yeah. Right. I, the old, I thought the old, Kanan was, I was gonna look like he did have a look, yeah. and I was like, you about to die right now, but, but I, I guess he. I was gonna say I was watching the Wild Red, and she he said, his money to keep coming "So my theory on who the old white guy is, I think that's Tommy's dad. That's my personal theory. I feel like they're not introducing him for no reason at all. Also, I feel like he has the strong gangster attitude, the same as Tommy. His mom, street gangster attitude. Two parents like that. Come on, create a Tommy. The cops." Can I say this? I was actually kind of disappointed on the fact that Tyree got out of the kidnapping situation so easily. Me too. I, I didn't like, like that. that. That made me mad because I felt like they set something up and just pulled it back. You know, they're like, this should be tight next season. Yeah. Too bad. I feel like it too. It was. That would have been tight, huh? Something else about that. They got me with that. Something else about that situation. So, we get his ass home, right? Oh, yeah. So, so Tommy already ain't believing Drake. We know. We where you got him from? Oh, I just hit that nigga up and he answered, even though he ain't been answering this whole time. Whatever. So besides them, the bullshit that Tariq was telling Tasha, I made this person up. I will say I was just with some friends drinking. I don't know anything. What's going like? I think it's not as believable if she don't have the ghost in jail thing to do. I think the ghost in jail thing, like I that just takes just one, so much shit. Okay. Takes one thing, a pressure off, and now I can focus on this. I'm sorry. I think it, it, just yeah, it, 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 it wasn't. So I'm going to go along with your theory. Right. Because the next, then she was, uh, then I think it was either her or Tommy saying, well, who arm that was around you? Oh, in the was picture. oh that was my friend, uncle. So who that makes you uncle, letting y'all, uncle? Like, letting y'all drink? Well, not even that. Why, why? why he got his arm around you? Right. That goes perfectly <laughs> into talking about Tasha. Tasha, to me, um, I didn't like Tasha for I, the first I've few seasons. Like for the first few seasons, I didn't start liking Tasha until last season. Which crazy is I like Angie. Why I like Angie is because okay, I'll give you. I'll do this quick. I didn't like Tasha because Ghost was trying to change for better, and she wanted him to stay. Okay, I understand. That, I, I was Angie, with, I'm with I, you. I, so he was. You know, his girl. She was. She embraced the side that he kind of wanted to be. Right. Which is why I kind of like Angie. Mm-hmm. It's the last season because Angie was on the BS and and and. T- she started really holding Ghost down and like showing she was definitely him. What she's doing now? Yeah. As you see in this episode, right? Ghost has put her. Ghost continues to put her in like positions. The shittiest that, like, situation. Like because now she's looking for this money and luckily they found a way out of it. Right. I mean, Ain't she's all in the kids' trust funds. This right. episode, he put her in like the shittiest of positions. Right. And predicament. Every position was like. And, like all the issues was because of him. Right. Like, you cheated on me, now your bitch then got mad at you, put you in jail, and now I'm trying to help you out by going to find money that I was saving. Mm-hmm. You stole said money from me without telling me, and I still can't help you. Then I'm looking through the house that your bitch did have ransacked, which we'll talk about that in a minute. Right. And I find like a little bit of money that ain't gonna help shit. Right. And then I find jewelry that you was gonna give to the bitch. You, your black ass just been in jail. Been your black ass just would have been in jail and, and that would have been it. Right. And I would have sent you papers in that bitch. What's crazy about that is, I think the best line of the show was when, was when her little, the white cop was like, yeah, you're speaking with the dead guy and you're speaking with the nigga that killed me. Hey! Him. I was dead. Okay. Angie ass and got drugged so many times because Tasha drugged her ass too. She came up in the apartment and they went in the office because Angie was like, are there any weapons? So then Tasha took it in there and then she was like, oh, he was sleeping on the couch. First of all, bitch, why you give a fuck? Because y'all, y'all done, right? 
Tasha had like, comebacks. She had, she had Tasha was like, this. oh, you know, I was just trying to make sure he didn't bring no bed bugs over from your place. Right. Right, in front, the, of, right in front of her co worker. And he the, like, oh, the first is the first. The first is the first. The She also had to jump with the loaded gun, too. Like, yeah, she did. Uh, uh, I'm trying to, that's the interesting one was? Dynamic. What was that joke? Uh, she said, "No, I don't keep a loaded, loaded weapon." Oh yeah, around children. <laughs> I, I was gonna be interested to see how that plays out because I know Proctor will probably use the fact that she kind of presented this. Oh yeah, presented it, and she's but she's involved with it. Right. Oh yeah, he has already it's, it's said it. He's like, "Yeah, I'm gonna use this to get revenge." Yeah, he's gonna use it to get revenge. 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 Yeah, he's gonna <laughs> Next, let's talk about real quick. We have two more people technically to talk about. We're going to talk about Tommy real quick and what he kind of went through. He didn't go through a lot, but he had some good major scenes as far as for the story. They were important. First, the biggest thing, especially that happened in the beginning, we finally found out what his motherfucking teacher been at, bro. Right. Like, but see, I knew Keisha was dead. Like, because on power. We see, like, when you die, most of the time we see, we see you oh, get we see, we see you right. get killed. For him, this episode was more of all of the things that are going to be on his plate for the rest of the season. Mm -hmm. So, like, Keisha going to be on his plate because he yeah. was protecting her all of this time. Even though, you know, they didn't got rid of her problem, mm -hmm. she still technically is a part of his drug running because she's yeah, still right. going to be collecting right. money for him. Exactly. Then he going to have Dre on his plate because he don't trust that motherfucker, but you still work for me. Mm -hmm. And I feel like I got to keep an extra eye on you. You know what I'm saying? Right. And then Dre going to be pressing him about being the distributor, mm -hmm. but he's like, nigga, you just what the fuck? You popped up out of nowhere a couple like, yeah, months ago. Like, yeah, what the fuck? You trying to ask right. me some shit? And Julio been around since day one. I, I have a feeling that well, this is kind of my prediction on the show. I, I mean, on the podcast, uh, I I feel like you have to create like a a new situation because again, eventually, Ghost is gonna get out of this, right? Um, I feel like Tommy's gonna take control of that power, mm -hmm. um, and I feel like at the end of the season, we're gonna see. Tommy versus Ghost, like that's gonna be the next matchup. Okay. Like because you, if you if you get that job and you do well at it, mm -hmm. you're not gonna want to give up. Okay, I'm a, I'm making a prediction on the spot. What's gonna happen is, like you said, Tommy is gonna do well at the drug business, right? Mm -hmm. Jamie gonna get off some type of way, and he gonna come back. He don't want no part of the drug business. If anything, he just going to hand it over to Tommy like he said he was going to do last season, right? And Tommy just going to slide him some money every now and again to make sure his club shit is going right. And then him and Angela can be together because he going to be a legit businessman at that point. Do you want to ask him to Yes, because he's an idiot. 